So now we're going to move to part two of the experiment. Um, and what we're going to do is test antacids. And if you ask the kids, have you ever seen your parents complain that they had heartburn, maybe after eating some chili or soup or something, and that they needed some Tums or Alka-Seltzer? Well, Tums and Alka-Seltzer, those are actually antacids, and they do exactly what they sound like. They neutralize the acids in your digestive system. So what we're gonna do is test and see which antacids work the best. So how can you do that? Here I have three cups and it just has cabbage juice in it so far. So it has the pH testers. But before we test the antacids, what do we have to add to the cabbage juice? Give some time, but they should say you have to add an acid. So we're gonna try to recreate our uh, digestive system where we ate just too much acid, maybe too much pickles or pickled food. And we need some white vinegar, which I just put away. So let me go grab some. And because we're doing a comparison, you do want to use exactly the same amount. So, put some white vinegar, or just a teaspoon there, a teaspoon there, and it's going to turn that violet pink because we know it's a pretty strong acid. In one cup, we're going to test Alka Seltzer. And because Alka-Seltzer um, fizzes on contact with water, we don't have to crush it. We're just going to put in one tablet and ask the students what they think is going to happen. And they should say that if it's going to neutralize the acid, it should turn it back to blue. Maybe not the original blue of the cabbage juice, but somewhere in between the pink and the blue here. So we'll put it in. Remember, ask them what observations can you make, and they can say, well, they see fizzing, they see bubbles. What's that a sign of? That is a sign, or one of the four common signs, the chemical reaction is taking place. So there's gas being released there. And you can see already that the super bright fuchsia pink has already turned to more of a purple. So it's not completely back to blue. But the acid level has gone from a pH of 3 to a pH of 6. So is alpha seltzer truly an antacid? Does it reduce the amount of acid? And it does. Okay, we'll put that down. So we're going to test another one. We're going to test um, Tums. And Tums doesn't actually fizz and bubble on contact. So you're going to have to have your kids kind of crush it up with their fingers. make observations. And on contact, nothing seems to happen. So you might think, huh, Tums doesn't really seem to be a good antacid <laughs> because it's still pink and it's not really changing colors at all. But I did test this out before. Tell your students to be patient because Tums just takes a few minutes to work. Eventually, it's also gonna change color again, and it's gonna um, turn more purple. But again, it takes a few minutes, so I'll let you and your students do it, and you can let them make comparisons about which one worked better. But again, Tums takes a few minutes, so give it some time before you compare which one works better, uh, compare and see which one works better. But that is part two of the experiment, and that's going to be the end of your cabbage juice acid-base comparison. But don't forget to ask all the debrief questions.